Well, everyone, I'm out shooting uh, another video today um, <clears throat> on this lake. First time this year. It's usually a really good early ice lake. I'm going to be, well, I'm going to jig and use a dead stick. Um, the rear coil busted on my auger over here, so I'm going to have to chip another hole of my dull ass chisel. What did you do? Oh, yeah. I think the old Strike Master, she's finally had it. Been running kind of questionable lately even even with the new carbon stuff on it so probably have to get a different auger oh <sighs> here we go got the old otter up for the first time this year she's cold out today i think it's six degrees right now like negative nine with the wind chill anyway i'm gonna run back up and grab that chisel chop a hole and then we're gonna get on it nothing like a broken ice auger to or rewind to make your day Alright guys, hopefully this video is nice and clear, but today I'm fishing this lake here and I'll give you, I'll show you my setup here, um, got this 36 inch light action rod made by Mike Taki over at Yogi Custom Rods, and I'm just going to be jigging with tungsten here, I'm using some uh, three northern jigs, made by Clyde Morgan, I think there's the bomb, anyway, and then the other rod, I actually have a dead stick going here, I got a 36 inch JT panfish snare, I'm just gonna, you know, put a minnow on that, and watch the tip of that rod when it starts to drop, I'll just lift up, and hopefully set that hook and bring it in, anyway, so what I'm doing right now, this lake I'm fishing on, is not very big, I think it's maybe a hundred and some acres, but out to the side of the, or out to the one side of the axis, there's a hole here, and it's 26 feet deep, and the perch and crappies and sunfish and aardvarks and all that stuff they kind of congregate in this in this small hole in fact there's a whole bunch of them just piling up right now down there on my graph i don't know if you can see that or not but anyway hopefully we'll get some fish today there we go Ooh. This feels like a better one. This feels like a sunfish, actually. It is. Hey, there we go. There's a nice, really nice bluegill. I knew there's some nice bluegills down there, too. This lake has really nice, thick, healthy fish. I'm going to throw him over there because he's going to go home for supper. There's another mark right down there, too. I bet it's another bluegill. Don't want to leave him alone by himself. Come on here, bud. We're coming. There we go. Couple of them down there now. Here it comes. There we go. That's probably going to be another bluegill. Yeah, it is. I know it is. By the way, it's fighting. Here we go. Look at that. Another one. Another nice bluegill. The bluegills in this lake have such a different color. You know, they're they're like a faded gold. Here we go. There it is, whatever it is. There's some ooh. This is gonna be a big sunfish, yeah it is. There's a couple of big more, a couple more good size marks down there. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Look at that. These are probably nine inch bluegills too. Just big, fat, healthy fish. Oh no, I got one of these. See those little marks that come through? They're little perch. Look at this. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's a shiner. Never mind. I caught a shiner. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that awesome? Whoa. Huh. I guess they're not all perch. Shiner. Sweet. There we go. Uh oh. Ooh, there's 
a nice perch. Nice there anyway. You come up fast for that jig. We'll throw you over there, buddy. And we can have a little mixed bag for supper tonight. See you. See the panfish snare. It's about to snare another victim. Yes, it is. It's kind of a fun alternative to, to you know your traditional bobber too. You know the fish hit that bait and the tip starts to drop and they don't you know they don't know that they're even on until they're hooked. Another nice perch. Five perch over there. Yeah, we'll let we'll let you go there, buddy. Oh, get on out of here. I had one anyway. Oh, I got one. I got one on the snare. Snared him. There's a nice perch. Those fish are so much fun to catch. Get out of here, bud. Uh huh. Just hanging on there. Got him. Ooh, this feels nicer. It's a perch. It is a nice perch. Be the biggest one of the day, I guarantee it. Oh, it's a walleye. Look at that. Ha. Look at that little walleye on the tip drop. Or on the panfish snare. Fish already has it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yep, there's already fish on there. Got him. There's a perch. There you go, bud. Little guy. That looks like it could be a good sized fish. Ooh, that's big. That's big. Whatever this is, ain't uh, I don't not know what this could be, but it's big. <clears throat> Bigger than a perch anyway. But nice, but just like a nice big walleye. There's a lot of bass in here though, big bass. Um, and I could, you know, I could pick one up in this deep, this deeper basin here. Lots of, like I said, lots of shiners down there, so it could be anything. How about a, like a four pound perch? No? Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. 
brightness so I get to see it. Oh my gosh, it's a giant walleye. It's a giant walleye, or a really big walleye on this panfish snare. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just caught a huge northern on this the other day. Now I got a big walleye on. Holy crap, that's a big walleye. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Huge walleye. Come up to the hole, buddy. Here he is. Oh, look at this walleye. <laughs> Oh my god! Look at this walleye! Oh good! <laughs> Look at that walleye, you guys! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. oh that's gotta be 28 or 29 inches. That is ridiculous! Hold on a minute, guys. We're gonna go with ounces. <clears throat> We're gonna go with ounces on this fish. 100, 100 and... Oh, tail's off the ground, there we go. 105 ounces, okay? Is what it weighed. Well, I'm gonna get a picture and let him go. There it is. Whatever it is, I got it. I'll bet it's another walleye. Bet it's another walleye. I'm gonna get caught up in this other line over here. I know it. My snare rod. I'll bet. This is going to be a good walleye, though, like a good eating sized one. I'll bet it's a walleye. Unless it's the pike. Mm. I think it's going to be a walleye. I think. I think it's going to be a walleye. On this tungsten in a. Waxworm. Mm. It is. I see it. It's a walleye. What the heck? I don't know what's up with these walleyes today. Middle of the daytime. There it is. Oh, it's a good eater, too. Look at that. Get up in there. Get up in there. There we go. Oh, look at that walleye. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> that is a just a beautiful fish. I mean, that's probably 19, 20 inches, maybe. Like, like the ideal eater-sized walleye. Well, 17, anything up to that size is good eating. And he came up just just nicked that perch right there that perch tungsten oh the fish on over here too I might as well handle this while I'm here right there we go this will not be a walleye though nice perch bud wow dude I didn't <laughs> malt perch fishing and it's just turning it's turning into a miraculous walleye trip sweet well this guy's not going back he is going on the ice over there to get eaten well, that's a darn nice walleye I believe there's a fish on this Right? Ooh. This is, I don't know. It's going to be a big perch or this is going to be another walleye. Holy.
Holy, that's a big perch. Oh, oh. <clears throat> granddaddy perch. Well, I can see that he swallowed that hook kind of deep. <clears throat> so, he's going to have to go on ice. He'll be good eating anyway. Mm. More, more towards the afternoon here and uh, we might have some crappies or something moving in here there's a bigger school of fish right here but they're ooh this is good sized Big slow head shake on it. Oh. Hey, there's a crappie. Oh, there's well. Oh. There you go. It's probably a, I don't know, a big one. Probably nine and a half inches, maybe ten inches. Something that a guy could eat though. Sorry guys. Oh, this is gonna be a perch. I thought I got the hook set on the camera, but I didn't. Oh, it's a nice sunfish. Oh, nice sunfish. There we go. Well, that's cool. Got another one of those. Right, so, I'll set my rod down here for a second. You see, I kept I kept a good mess of fish. <clears throat> well, I think I kept nine perch, two crappies, five sunfish, and a walleye. So it's not a pile, but it was good, good day. Uh, except for the fact my auger broke. You know, you would think. I figured that uh, that's the only reason I got those walleyes was because my auger broke. Made total sense to me, anyway. Something had, something good had to happen. Anyway, yeah, that's it, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching.